Hey everyone, Tom here from Ludicrous Feed. Thanks so much for joining us. Today I want to talk about the Great Wall Motors Aura, otherwise known as the Aura Funky Cat or the Good Cat Overseas. And it's coming to Australia in April 2023 and will be one of Australia's cheapest new electric cars. So let's take a look at the Aura Cat from Great Wall Motors. There it is there. This article by Henry Mann from Z Cars. Let's have a look at the pictures here. So that's the Aura from the back. There it is from the front. Looks very uh, mini-like, doesn't it? It's like the, that sort of smallish urban vehicle. And inside, it looks very much like the GMP platform uh, featured in Ionic uh, EV6 uh, Genesis GV60. So yeah, that's interesting with the two screens there. Uh, quite a nice two-tone interior there. And back to the first picture. Let's have a look at some of the uh, information here from this article. So key points uh, from $43,990 Australian, three variants, two of them will be LFP batteries, one will be NMC, and up to 420 kilometers of real driving range, uh, or sorry, from WLTP range, sorry, and a quirky mini-esque design, as we mentioned. So price from $43,990 to $53,990, uh, 420 kilometers of WLTP range, which is pretty good, but presumably for that top spec at $53,000. Two-tone design, uh, complete active safety suite, uh, assist suite, and seven-year unlimited kilometer warranty as well. So that's good to see. Uh, some more pictures here. There we go. And the Chinese-made EV available in standard range battery using uh, lithium-ion phosphate, and then the extended range uh, in NMC type. All models capable of charging up to 11 kilowatts, a maximum of 64 kilowatts on the standard range, 67 on the extended range. I must say that's a little bit slow, I think. Uh, we've done a road trip in the BYD Auto 3, uh, another Chinese brand at 89 kilowatts DC. And I must say that does make a difference compared to, say, a Tesla Model 3 or Y, which can charge up to 250 kilowatts on the uh, higher range vehicles, 170 on the standard range. So, yeah, that might cause some angst at some charging stations. So these things are taking up some time uh, charging at this 64 kilowatt speed. It's a bit, uh, bit slower compared to the others. Uh, company claims it can recharge from 10 to 80% in 41 minutes. Again, uh, a bit slower than some. Uh, the Aura will compete with the MG4, ZSEV, BYD Dolphin, Auto 3, Nissan Leaf, Mini Electric, and Cooper Born Electric vehicles in this uh, spec and price range. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, three variants here from 43,990 to 53,990, ranging from 50, sorry, 44 kilowatt hours to 59 uh, kilowatt hours in the extended range. And range is 310 to 420 kilometers, uh, WLTP. And uh, efficiency, 146, 141. That's actually pretty good, but it is a small vehicle after all, uh, compared to, say, the uh, Atto 3 at 180-odd watt-hours per kilometer. And charge power, 11, like we said, and the fast charge uh, DC power of 67 kilowatts. Uh, performance power is 126 kilowatts, as expected for a small vehicle. 250 newton meters of torque, and it's a front-wheel drive for all variants. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 8.3 seconds, so not super fast. Uh, and it's an uh, EV dedicated platform and this LEMON uh, platform, I, I think they must be pulling a leg, surely. The Lemon platform uh, for the Aura. Interesting. Seats 5 and dimensions are such. Wheelbase 2650 and weight is uh, just uh, over 1.5 tons at 1,500 kilograms and boot capacity of 228 uh, liters presumably with the seats up and no towing rated. And uh, they are the pricing uh, driveway offers, sorry, driveway pricing for the different states. Once you take into account the, uh, I guess, all the different stamp duties and, um, and taxes and levies across each individual state. And before on roads, there we go. Standard range, uh, 45 kilowatt hours, 18 inch alloy wheels, LED headlights, heated folded wing mirrors, leatherette seats, uh, presumably that's sort of vegan type leather, uh, six-way adjustable driver's seat, four-way passenger seat, auto dimming rear view mirrors, 10-inch uh, infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and wide Android Auto, that's good, and then another 10-inch driver instrument display, that's, uh, that's that eGMP-like platform screens that we saw earlier, cheap charging wireless pad, uh, yep, all these safety features, uh, pedestrian detection, that kind of stuff, blind spot assist, rear cross traffic alert, lane keep centering, that's good, I'd love to try that out, adaptive cruise control, rear collision warning, traffic sign recognition, facial recognition, driver attention monitoring, interesting, 360 degree camera, rear parking sensors. Here's some pictures here of the two-tone interior with that sort of leatherette, vegan leather 
type interior seats and another shot of the aura from a front three quarter view and then we've got the uh extended range which is basically the same all the same as the interior uh, as the uh, standard range stuff and then just a bigger battery at 59.3 kilowatt hour nmc so different battery chemistry for the extended range and the aura gt uh is 53.990 just more expensive than the extended range you get 18 inch gt design alloy wheels gt bumpers and grille design hands-free electric tailgate red brake calipers panoramic sunroof driver seat memory function heated steering wheel automatic parking assist so you actually get quite a few features there for the extra what is it six thousand dollars between uh the extended range and the aura gt uh and it's let's see about 10 grand more than the standard range so not terribly more expensive for a few more features like you know the sunroof uh, red brake calipers makes it look more sporty that's for sure and there are the different colors there are your choices from green to blue to red to black to white and options will be a two-tone black roof and wing mirrors uh, no cost um and then the metallic paint, uh, sorry, that's standard, no cost, Hamilton White. And the metallic paint with two-tone black roof and wing mirrors, $595 for the different colors. Uh, so not too expensive there for different options. And have a look at this. Uh, we Wireless sheet charging in the center console there. That's very slim, by the way, between the two seats. So as you'd expect for a small car. And there are the gear shifters there. Again, having four, uh, four gears is good for an EV. That's all you need, park, reverse, neutral, drive. A seven-year uh, unlimited kilometer warranty, eight-year battery warranty. That seems to be pretty standard these days, uh, particularly for the for the powertrain, eight years. And five years roadside assistance and cap price servicing schedule. Mm. We'll see what they come up with uh, in Australia, given the BYD uh, pricing for their scheduled servicing was quite controversial last year. We'll see. So they haven't disclosed any servicing schedules yet. And there's some comparisons there between the different cars that we mentioned earlier. Uh, in this sort of price bracket, so the Aura, 43000 Mini Cooper, 59000 Cooper Born, 59000 Nissan Leaf, 50000 and BYD Auto 3 Standard Range, which I don't think there's any yet in this country at 48000 So it's certainly the cheapest of the lot. I think probably the smallest of the lot as well, unsurprisingly. There's a different battery sizes and ranges. It sort of sits in the middle there between uh, the Nissan Leaf and the Cooper versus the BYD Auto 3 and the Cooper Born. Efficiency, like I said before, is uh, you know fairly equivocal, uh, maybe a bit better than the Cooper Born. Uh, I did quote the numbers for uh, the extended range um, from the EV database. This is what they quote on their website, BYD, for the Atom 3 standard range. Acceleration, not the quickest off the mark there, 8.3 versus something like the Cooper Born at 7. They all charge at 11 kilowatts. Like I said before, the, um, the, the fast charging rate at 64 is slow. Uh, not as slow as the 50 kilowatt Mini Cooper, but the Cooper Born is 170. That's impressive. That's good to see. And the Atto 370 and Nissan is 50 as well. So I don't know. I think these could be faster, honestly, uh, for uh, the adoption of EVs. I think they need to be quicker so that people can get, can get back on the roads faster and someone else can use the charger as well. There's the dimensions there. So uh, certainly bigger than the Mini Cooper in terms of uh, length and width and height. About the same size as the Cooper Born, looking at the dimensions there, just a bit higher. Um, and the Nissan Leaf, uh, fairly similar, again, higher, a bit longer, sorry, a bit shorter, uh, wider, sorry, and a bit uh, shorter as well. Uh, compared to the other three, it looks like it's smaller all round uh, across uh, height, width, and length. Uh, boot space is smaller than BYD Auto 3, uh, bigger than the Mini Cooper, and smaller than the Cooper Born. Here we go. All right, so that's uh, that is the specs. A nice little article there from Henry Mann and Danny Tai from Zika. So uh, yeah, great to see more options in the affordable price range for Australia. The Cooper, Bo uh, sorry, the uh, GWM Aura coming uh, to compete with the Cooper Born and uh, Mini Cooper and other smaller EVs uh, in Australia. All right, everyone, you've been watching Tom from Ludicrous Fee talking about the Great War Motors GWM Aura uh, due to be launched in april 2023 which is only two months away hopefully we can get our hands on one of those press cars to test for you on this channel to do some real world uh, range tests and performance tests as well take care everyone until the next ludicrous feed video happy charging